In this video, I will introduce you to the calendar, syllabus, course structure, course pace, some of the applications we'll be using, and course navigation. To find the course, open up a browser and look for me. You're looking for course pages for Dana Leeling. That'll get you here, which is a link to all of my course pages. And you're looking for the SC130 Physical Science, the one in larger letters there. Click on that. It'll take you to the syllabus and calendar. Now, I will note that this calendar is under development at this time. It is not finished at the time of the making of this video but it is uh, a document that will continue to evolve during the term and you sh should check in as the term goes to see how it changes but it's also a dynamic link to the material you'll be using it tells you where the material is you need to access and uh, how to get to it so for example on monday these two items listed here the s means that they're in schoology that you should look into schoology uh, website or app to access that material. This course will, as this video does, center on using a smartphone to accomplish physical science. A smartphone is highly recommended and if we are unable to meet in the lab may be a requirement as the smartphone will provide us with some interesting tools and capabilities that will allow us to do labs even if we couldn't meet for some reason. Now, the 17 August, those two items, introduce yourself to the class and a pre-assessment that gives me an idea of your math skills, are in Schoology. And then on Wednesday the 11th, you can see we're going to be working on measurement and the metric system. If you tap on the measurement and the metric system link, it will take you to the textbook directly to the section that relates to that particular day. And you can and should read through this. In this hybrid class, Monday, Wednesday, and Friday will be online. Whether you do this material on Monday, Wednesday, and Friday is strictly up to you. But during the, sometime during the week, you should have a look at this material here in section 1.1. The textbook is available to you. Not only that, but the textbook is actually one single gigantic web page and so as long as I do not close this tab that I'm in I can carry the book around with me even if I'm not online or not on the internet so the book is designed to be mobile friendly it'll reformat for your uh, device size and format and it's designed to be carried around offline you'll have to be online the first time you load it but as long as you don't change the tab or close the tab you will uh, change the tab as and navigate to somewhere else. You will have the book with you. The icons that are little play buttons on the side there actually take you to videos that explain that particular topic. These videos are still under development. And in some cases, maybe a video not produced by me or even possibly a playlist that I put together. So that's the video for 19 August and these will link you directly to videos such as that. There's no lab on the first week. We won't meet until the second week of class. This is to, to basically to help us get settled in, some time for ad drop, and uh, just some time to get settled into the online. Much of this class is online. We're gathering in the labs just to use laboratory equipment. I will note that the way we do the lab in class may be different from the way the lab is done online in a video. These online videos, like you see for the second week, lab one, 
that particular video is designed to allow you to potentially do the lab at home if the need arises. And so there may be differences between the online video and what we actually do in class. It probably will be essentially the same, but it may differ in the uh, specifics of how we do it. So this particular lab 2 on velocity might be done outside rather than inside. We also have quizzes and tests on typically on a Friday. We'll have a quiz or test to wrap up the material for that week and so I can check for understanding. Uh, the syllabus is currently complete down through just at week four and starting into week five, I'm beginning to get some of week five put together. This is a project still in motion as this video is being made, but I did want to be able to get this up to you. There is a link down here to the physical science textbook. There's links to the apps. This part of the um, syllabus is still very much under development and will be changing as uh, the class goes forward. Now there are some other apps you'll need. You'll find that when we're doing labs, we're going to be using a couple different apps to put our lab reports together. So we have a lab on density coming up and we'll be doing this lab and you can read you should read this you should before lab you should go ahead and read this material uh, that's here bit of an explanation and an introduction to the idea of mathematical models that that happen but this particular lab will be gathering data and then we'll be using Desmos to analyze that data and finally uh, the, this is a screenshot here of Desmos we'll be using Desmos to analyze that data determine the density of the soap and then report on that. So the, I'll now take a look at some of the apps that you'll want to have to navigate this course. First one we'll look at is Schoology. You will see I have my apps arranged there in, in rows uh, for my different courses. The row with Desmos on my desktop is the row of physical science apps. So here I'm in Schoology, and Schoology is where assignments exist and live. Two sections of physical science, but essentially uh, identical except for different lab periods. And here you can see access to the calendar, a welcome letter, you should read through that, a chance to introduce yourself to the class, please do introduce yourself to the class, the pre-assessment, you should go ahead and try the pre-assessment. It's not graded. It just gives me an idea of what you already know or do not know mathematically. So you should have a look at the pre-assessment. The units are color-coded, and that will match the colors in the syllabus, the online syllabus. So here you can see the measurement exercise is already posted for the first week where you're asked to go measure the volume, uh, the, the length, width, and height to get the volume, and the mass of an object. Now, these assignments will actually be done using, uh, later we'll integrate Desmos, but for this first assignment, we'll just be using Google Docs, and we will continue to use Google Docs to submit assignments. So, you'll see a similar screen. You'll see a little My Document over here that you'll have to click on probably to get to your document if you're on a laptop or desktop. And that's why you're going to need the Google Docs app because to access the document, you'll open it in the Google Docs app. There's an iOS version and an Android version. So you should go ahead and load the Google Docs app and log in. If you don't have a Google or Gmail login, you'll want to pick one up. If you're on a laptop or desktop, you can also uh, you'll be able to click on My Document and open up your document, and you'll be able to then type in your answers and submit the document. Submitting will happen back here in Schoology, and so you. This is all on a smartphone. So if I'm in my app working on this. I can tap on the edit button, hit the button, the little pencil, and I can edit this document. And when I'm done, I press check, 
and I can go back to my uh, 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 Schoology and submit my document. When we get down into the second week, we'll be uh, using Desmos to give, produce a graph, a table, a graph, and an analysis of our data. And then we'll be putting that into uh, the uh, lab document. So let me jump out of here for a moment and take a look at Desmos. I'll be explaining more on how to use Desmos when we get to Lab 1, but this is Desmos. It's really just a graph and a place to type, and you'll be learning that you can add a table, and if you type values into the table, those points will get graphed on the graph up there. It's a very powerful graphing calculator. You can see some of the capabilities down below, including the different functions that are available. It's a very powerful graphing calculator. You can also, uh, if necessary, switch over to an alphabetic keyboard, which is useful for changing a header on a graph. If I want this header to be, say, the volume in capital V, I can change that to capital V using the alphabetic keyboard. This is an app. It's Desmos. It's free. It's also available as a website, and there are links in the syllabus and I'll throw links down below this video as well. Desmos is usable on a laptop, desktop, tablet, and smartphone. One advantage to a smartphone is that Desmos on a smartphone, the app, will work offline. The one on a laptop and desktop will not work unless you're connected to the internet. So there is an advantage to the smartphone version. It will work when the uh, internet is disconnected. It will work when the power is off. You won't be able to necessarily submit work, but you'll be able to do work even if you are not connected to the internet. You'll be able to type numbers in as you see I'm doing here and submit that, uh, uh, put it together and save it for submission later. To save it, you'll have to go up here and go ahead and log. If you haven't logged in, log in. I'm logged in already. And then you can save your graphs. You'll see some of my saved ones down below. And so you can actually save data and graphs, come back and work on them later. Now, I will note that to save data, you will have to be online. You will have to be online to save data. And the way we'll get data out of Desmos is to do a screen capture. Your phone will be different, but mine, I can touch the phone. and uh, you won't, I can create a screenshot by touching the phone with three fingers. You'll have some other way to do a screenshot. If you don't know how to screenshot your phone, take some time to learn. Google your phone type and how to screenshot it. If you have questions, let me know. The other app we'll have is we'll take those screenshots out of Desmos and we'll put them into Google Docs. So Google Docs is here, and that's where you can do your typing. You can sit there and get a new document and you can type in a new document if you need to. You won't have to do a new document in this course because the document will be provided from inside Schoology. In fact, you shouldn't use a new blank document because I'll have no way to grade it. It won't be connected to your Schoology grade book. So you won't actually have to do that. So Schoology will be one of your principal tools that you'll need to use. There are some other tools that may be useful to you or that we may use as the course goes along. For example, this is a ruler. It's probably not as easy to use as a plastic ruler, but in a pinch it'll work. You do have to calibrate it, uh, but you can calibrate it from, there's menus for calibration where you size it to a coin and then you can use it and you can set the units as well. And so this is this is a, a ruler, and it can sit there and measure how long something is. So in a pinch, you've got apps like this. This is an app that I added. It's called the Ruler app uh, here, and it's uh, uh, that's all it's called is Ruler. It's real simple, no ads. Uh, it doesn't have any fancier name other than other than the Ruler, and that's all there is all, all there is to it.
So the other apps that we might look at in include, there's a, a physical toolbox. It happens to be more complete on Android than on iOS, so I haven't decided whether we'll, we will use it or how we will use it. But I may later be running a poll to see how many people are working with Android, how many are on iOS, and how many do not have a smartphone. But just to give you an idea of what that sort of thing can do, I'll show you. So the physics toolbox lets me get at all the different detectors on my phone. Here it's reading out the different g-force meters in terms of total g's. And so I can see the g-force being exerted at any one time. And the white line there is the force of gravity uh, acting on my phone. Uh, the to uh, sorry, the blue line is the force of gravity acting on my phone. And so you can see the force of gravity is a 1g in this system. I can change the units if I wish to on this. And there are other access devices on here. Access to the GPS, access to a, uh, any other thing that might be on my particular phone, a light meter that uses the camera to detect total luminance, and color detector that lets me detect the color of a particular object. All of these things are available from this. Uh, so it's possible we may use some of these other apps at some point. Uh, this will then analyze that and tell me what the color is of this object and give me some computer codes for that color. So we may later utilize some of these capabilities, but that's just a possibility at this point. To get a hold of me, to get in touch with me, to contact me, you can always send me a message through uh, Schoology messages. That's a good way to send messages to me. Uh, you can also contact me through Gmail. If we need to, we can set up a Zoom meeting. And on Thursday lab days, starting with the second week, um, the plan is for us to get together. We will be following the uh, COVID-19 task force guidelines, both the, the national government, the state government, and the college guidelines. Uh, we will be, um, I am uh, at this point, although everything all is subject to future change, at the time of the recording of this video, we will be wearing masks in class, and we will we'll have smaller lab sizes than we've had in the past uh, in order to uh, structure for social distancing and uh, um, improved uh, safety in the classroom. Uh, now it's important to remember that at least at the time of this recording the virus isn't present on the island but we take these precautions because we won't know when the virus arrives um, if the island has opened up to uh, inbound passengers. And we do expect that once the uh, medical monitoring facility is done, that will happen. So we will be following the COVID-19 guidelines. Also, there will not be a mandatory attendance during this term. If you don't feel well on a Thursday, stay home. That's the new mantra this term. If you don't feel well, stay home. Uh, That'll be true for me also. If, if for some reason I don't feel well, I will also remain home and contact you through messages on Schoology and or Gmail messages to you, but probably through messages on Schoology to let you know what we're doing. And that's another reason for having the Schoology app on your phone. If you have the Schoology app, you will receive notifications of messages, and that'll be a way you can stay up to date with what's happening in the course. I too receive notifications on my phone when you send me messages. So that's a bit of an overview of the course and some of what we'll be doing in the course and some of the apps that you'll want. I think if you can, if you can at all afford it, a smartphone will be a wise investment for this course. Everything we're doing in this class can be done on a smartphone. 
It's not difficult to do it on a smartphone. It's quite possible. So, do uh, do uh, do um, see the color coding there should link to the color coding. Well, that statistics there. <laughs> Sorry, but yeah. So if you do have questions, do let me know, uh, and uh, welcome to SC130, Physical Science. Have a look at some of the materials here, introduce yourself to the class, uh, take that pre-assessment, and uh, on that first week of class, uh, be ready to try that measurement and density exercise. For that exercise, you'll want something square to measure, and then for the lab that second week, um, we'll be doing that lab in class, but if we have to do it at home, you'll need a bar of square soap. Uh, but at this point, that first lab, once I get it all set up there, will, uh, will be uh, available to you in the, uh, uh, that second week of class. So welcome to the course, and contact me if you need help.